The Knowledge Quarter is a real formal partnership of some 34 different organisations in this neighbourhood. These are big organisations, small organisations, commercial, public, third sector and so on, but with some form of commitment to advance knowledge. What uh, we're hoping to explore this evening is what it means for the British Museum to be part of one of the densest concentrations of scholarly research activity anywhere in the world and to be part of the community of Camden. And there are many ways of thinking about community and what community or quarter or neighbourhood means. What is the neighbourhood? Well, sometimes the neighbourhood is physical. Can you walk there? Can you get there by public transport? And knowledge suggests that cleaning up our environment is vitally important to make the access to the area better. Hopefully the Knowledge Quarter um, will be willing to work together on those kind of environmental issues to give, linking to the lobbying point, a strong perspective to push forward progressive transport policies to deal with those problems. There's a neighbourhood in the sense of intellectual and cultural affinity. It doesn't matter where somebody is, but you're close to them because you're interested in what they're interested in. I was just wondering um, what plans the Knowledge Quarter have to collaborate on the generation of great art and culture in the present day in the neighbourhood, however um, we define the neighbourhood. I think we have an opportunity in the Knowledge Quarter to think about public art mm -hmm. in a particular way, having a real focus on knowledge. Do you not think that the money would be better invested in something that's maybe engaging people in the local community? There's no better way of branding an area, actually, than to have some iconic thing in the middle of it. I mean, just think what Eros has done for Piccadilly or Nelson's Column for Trog Square. It's a meeting point, it's, you know, it's an image, and it lasts in a way that sometimes temporary events don't. And then there's affinity and, 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 and proximity in terms of economic fortunes. What plans are in place for the Knowledge Quarter parties, uh, partners to share engagement strategies to involve more socially excluded communities? And particularly, how do we build on the great success the British Museum has had with its supplementary schools programme? Camden is quite a mixed area, and um, we're on the edge of a very poor part of Camden. We have a teaching laboratory for schools, which we've aimed at primary schools, because they have such limited um, uh, um, teaching laboratory facilities. So the Francis Crick Institute will be more open to both the local community and in fact London more generally and the country more generally than any other research institution I know. I mean the point about education is an important one because we can't be complacent and assume that our ability to generate knowledge will remain in the future without <coughs> constantly regenerating the people who produce it. Nobody has mentioned that there are three further education colleges in Camden. These are people who don't necessarily pay to go to university uh, because of the fees, but want to participate in wider education. The connection with FE is extremely timely and interesting, and I think it's, uh, I, I should stress the Knowledge Quarter Association is open. This is a growing community of organisations. We need to think about how the whole neighbourhood, not just the big grand institutions, become, as I think the last questioner put it, knowledge producing themselves. In other